Welcome to Texas Trebuchet Science Channel. Um, we're doing a test today. I've ele elevated the cradle. What we're trying to do is emulate what's going on with Twisted Whipper, the 15-foot whipper. Uh, the, eleva the cradle elevation is too high for the sling length. And it, I have I have it uh, configured the same way where we're out of room to make the sling longer. So what I want to do is make this machine. This is Texas Twister. What we're trying to do is make uh, make this machine do what Twisted Whipper is doing with the high launch angles at a hundred to one mass ratio. And that's what we have. We have an eight ounce modified baseball in there it has a steel core in it and um i lengthened the sling and we're we're gonna see what it does so let's get back a little bit um i'm gonna turn the gopro on we're shooting down this range okay gopro's on i'm gonna I'm just gonna set y'all low because I wanna. I need to be able to see. It. I can't watch what the GoPro's doing just yet. All right. Oh, we're here with Rob Hill from New Zealand. Wave there he is. Way over there. <laughs> All right. That should give us an indication of what's going on. All right. It's ready to fire. over a little over 400 feet that was actually pretty low so um that is doing something so <laughs> let's figure out exactly what that's doing and what i think about it, it looks like about 30 degrees at the most yes and um we have the pin angle is pretty far back that's only a few degrees uh forward plus the arm the arm is seven and then the pin is like maybe another five beyond that um and it was low um so i want to raise the cradle another inch so i'm gonna do that See, I just have, I just added this. That's like one and three quarters. Hey, look at that. Uh, what is that? Can you see it? Uh, two inches. Two inches. So let's take it up to three inches. But that's not off the center line. The center line is four inches. Okay. We have, um, 45 about 50 pounds of counterweight plus the hanger i think it's in the, like another 15 so we're a little over 100 to 1 mass ratio uh okay let's okay i added this piece here so that's um like another inch and three quarters have another eight ounce steel cord baseball in it in that raggedy sling um i guess we need to take that off uh, and it is upside down there we go now it's right side up
and we are way off the way off the beam all right That did what that is exactly what we were looking for. Um, that's exactly what I was looking for. All right, now we're gonna do our um, sling technique. The sling needs to be longer, and we're out of room, we're constricted by the timing props. So, we're fixing to do something that's never been done before. So, hold tight. Okay, here's the trick. Never seen it done before. We are now the, if we were here, um, and now we're here. So we're about five and a half, five and three quarter, six inches longer of a sling. And what we're, here, here's, here's the trick. You ready? Rolling it up backwards to the inside. And stick it in the cradle. I don't know if I can cock it like this. We'll see. No, I'll have to I'll have to do that after I cock it. So I'll just lock this in. so I can cock it and then we'll set the projectile okay I'm gonna do it from this side so y'all can see okay way long swing <laughs> I can set it up here. I've set other machines up like this. Uh, the popular mechanics build. I had it extending out past this way. It worked. It totally worked, man. Okay. Here we go. I'm wrapping it up backwards. Like an egg roll. I try and stuff it in this cradle so it kind of holds it. Probably wants to try and unwind backwards. Yep, it does. So we may just let it. All right. We just let it unwind and sit back there on the uh, prop block. Let's try that. All right, now what we're looking for is the longer sling uh, to un unwrap as it comes around and we want to get it at a lower angle than it was that last shot. Last shot was pretty steep, 50 degrees probably. I'll ha I haven't reviewed it. So anything under 40 uh, is gonna or anything under that is gonna be a complete success. So let's let's do this. Touchdown! We're going right, Woo, way right. Bam! That's uh that that did exactly what we were hoping it would do.
That was lower, right? It was lower. So, boom. That's a first ever. Okay, if we use a slip hitch in the lines themselves, then the ball and the sling just go in in the same way. And as the pressure comes on the ball, it just pulls out the line, takes the loop out, and it stays in the sling and arcs over. So and that's sailors. That's a sailors know it all, huh? Sailors are natural born smart asses. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to recover any of those. <laughs> Maybe one of them. Uh, so we'll go take a look and see what's up. They were about 400 feet. That's it. Oh, okay. I, all right. Then when okay. the pressure comes on, pop. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Let's do that. Let's let's do that one. All right. Do it again, and then tie it one more time for everybody. Let's uh, bring it around over here in the sun a little better. All right. Go ahead. All right. There it is. Okay. All right, let's try that. So that. All right, we're trying the slip hitch. On your mark. It's going right a little bit, but it worked. That was that was a good throw. That was a really good throw. Ta-da! <laughs> No, I knew it was gonna work. <laughs> no, you go first. <laughs> you. Okay, so what did we find out today? Well, there's a couple of different ways to run a longer sling in whippers when there's no more room to extend the, the cradle's position back. Um, got anything to add? No, I, except I prefer the slip hitch. The slip hitch. He likes the slip hitch. Um, I, I'm okay with either of them because they both worked. Um, I don't see any problems with either one of them. So that's two first. Uh, new techniques for loading long sling whippers. Um, I guess that's it. Have a Merry Christmas.